Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of Ushra Clinic and founder of the website qmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medical. Today I am going to discuss about the anal fissure. Anal fissure is uh, defined as the elongated ulcer in the long axis of the anal canal. The usual site is the midline in the posterior part. The other situation is the midline in the anterior part. The reason for this site may be the posterior wall of the rectum curves forwards from the hall of the sacrum to join the anal canal. <coughs> which then turns sharply backward. During defecation, the pressure of the hot stool is uh, mainly on the posterior anorectal angle, hence the epithelium is stretched and uh, as it is uh, not supported by muscle, it is in vulnerable position. The anteri anterior renal pressure is uh, The anterior anal fissure is uh, more common in women who have children. It may be due to lack of support of the anal mucous membrane by damaged pelvic floor. Anal fissure may be acute or chronic. Anal fissure may be situated at a low or high level. Acute anal fissure. Acute anal fissure is a deep tear through the skin of the anal margin extending into the anal canal. There is a little inflammation, induration or uh, edema of its edges. Chronic anal fissure is characterized by infl inflamed indurated margins. The base consists of scar tissue or uh, lower border of the internal sphincter muscle. The ulcer is a uh, Cano shaped inferiorly where there is a tag of skin, usually edematous, and is called the sentinel file. There is always spasm of the involuntary musculature of the internal sphincter. In long standing cases, this muscle becomes uh, organically contracted by infiltration of uh, fibrous tissue there may be infection which is severe and uh, end as abscess and cutaneous fistula the high level fistula is placed in the anal canal and extends through the dentate line majority of the fissures are of uh, low variety clinical features it is common in females in uh, meridian of uh, life. It is uncommon in uh, age due to atony of the muscle. It may occur in children, may cause uh, acquired megacolon pain. Sharp agonizing pain starting during defecation, usually overwhelming in intensity and uh, lasting an hour or more. It seizes suddenly and uh, the patient is uh, comfortable till the next act of the bowel. Periods of remission may occur for days or weeks. The patient may become constipated uh, due to pain. Stools are frequently streaked with blood. Discharge. A slight discharge of serum accompanies fully established cases. A purulent discharge follows. If a subcutaneous abscess bursts into the anal canal or externally. In standing cases, a sentinel tag can be seen tightly closed, puckered, anus tag and history or uh, pathognomonic. By gently parting the margin of the anus, the lower end of the fissure can be displayed. In case of high fissure, if not visible, also digital examination is not uh, performed due to pain. The fissure is uh, to be differentiated from the 
carcinoma of the anus, tuberculous ulcer, proctalgia, fugax. Treatment. The pain of an anal fissure is uh, so great that it is to be relieved first. The object of treatment is the, to retain, to obtain a complete relaxation of the internal structure. Provided the complications are uh, with the fissure will heal slowly as soon as all spasm has disappeared. Conservative treatment. When the fissure is acute and uh, superficial, inflammation is uh, minimal. Conservative measures are uh, suitable. Gylocaine 5% in a water soluble lubricant is uh, introduced with, it, with a fine nozzle into the anal canal. After uh, waiting for a few minutes, relaxation may be sufficient to permit the passage of a well lubricated finger into the canal. Then a small anal dilator <coughs> may be passed and if the <coughs> anesthesia is adequate, it may be possible to introduce the lagus dilator. Anal dilators are commonly present in three sizes and it may not be possible to use the largest dilator until several days have passed. The patient is supplied with a gylocant uh, lubricant and instructed to pass a dilator twice a day for a month. By this time the fissure is usually healed. Laxatives are uh, prescribed to ensure that the motions are soft. Operative procedures. The simple and best procedure is the wide dilatation of the sphincter under general, general anesthesia. The index and middle fingers of each hand are uh, inserted simultaneously into the anus and pulled apart to give maximum dilatation. The patient can go go home at the same day but uh, should be warned that there may become fecal incontinence for a week or 10 days. If the conservative measures fail or uh, fissure is uh, chronic of fibrous skin tag or mucus polypus, operative measures are advisable. Procedure. General anesthesia is the best but uh, some surgeons prefer local anesthesia in the form of a uh, gylocaine or uh, proctocaine introduced into the ischiorectal fossa on each side to anesthetize the nerves passing towards the rectum. With the patient in the lithotomy position, a well grasped Sims speculum is introduced. This will permit a good view of the fissure which becomes uh, stretched to show the fibers of the internal sphincter running transversely in its flow. The essential part of the operation is to divide all of these uh, transverse fibers so that uh, the floor of the fissure is uh, completely smooth. If a sentinel pile is present, it is excised removing a triangular piece of skin with the apex at the anus and uh, base outward. The ends, ends of the divided muscle uh, retract and a smooth wound is left. The after treatment consists of uh, attention to boil, a daily bath and the passage of uh, anal dilator till the wound has healed which usually takes about uh, three weeks. Despite the presence of the wound there is a little or uh, no pain and the final results are uh, excellent. The all about the anal fissure and the operation and in the next video I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.